girls and guys, it's Presley, and today I'm going to be talking about internet challenges. Basically, the popular, the dangerous, and most importantly, the stupidest internet challenges. The first one was the most popular, the water bottle flip challenge, where you flip the water bottle until it lands upright. Man, I remember that challenge all too well. Even my little brother was addicted to that challenge. He used to have a YouTube channel back then when he was, when he was like, I don't know, eight years old, 10 years old, 12. I have no clue, but he tried doing the water bottle flip challenge upside down and he, it landed upright. I was pretty impressed by it, but then again, it's not, it's not that impressive of a challenge now because, well, there's a lot of other challenges that are a whole lot better than the water bottle flip challenge, but hey, that used to be really, really popular, really trendy. And who could say I blame them? I mean, I kind of used, I kind of tried to do the water bottle flip challenge, but I sucked at it. I, I sucked at that stupid challenge. Anyway, the most dangerous one. Some of the dangerous ones out here, I'm looking these up, by the way, just like I did with the how to look up the definition of a Karen back in my previous video on another top five things I can't stand. I had to look up what a Karen definition of a Karen was. Now I'm looking up these challenges because I can't remember every single one of them on the top of my head. Anyway. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see this list, by the way. Anyway, the next one obviously is a pretty dangerous one. It's the cinnamon challenge, where you get a spoonful of cinnamon and try and at least eat the cinnamon without drinking anything with it. And that is pretty dangerous because all that cinnamon will go into your throat and cause it to, like, come right out and make you cough and it'll hurt your, it'll do some crazy stuff with your lungs. It just, it's pretty dangerous. I mean, it'll make you choke on a lot of cinnamon too. I mean, if you get a spoonful of cinnamon, just get a spoonful of cinnamon and just, and just, yep, that's what'll happen if you do the cinnamon challenge. Just, I know I'm acting immature by making little noises, but what? how else am I supposed to describe this if no one's ever heard of these challenges before? Unless you're like old boomers or something, but hey. The other, well, I don't know if I can consider this one dangerous, but this one's the chubby bunny challenge where you fit oversized marshmallows into your mouth while saying chubby bunny, while trying to say chubby bunny. And, um... You might choke on these oversized marshmallows if you put too, if you put uh, excuse me if you put so many of these in your mouth. I mean, unless you have chipmunk cheeks or something, but hell, who am I to judge? Let's see. Ooh, the the Kylie lip challenge, where you take a shot glass and um, and put it on your lips and suck on it until your lips become bigger. Well, I think teenage girls used to do some of the, I only heard a little bit of this challenge, but I don't know if it used to be quote unquote popular or something if you wanna make your lips bigger, but hey, I think it, it'll make your lips all puffy and swell up and stuff. I don't know if that's a good idea. I really don't know if it's a good idea. And, oh geez. This last one. Obviously this last one is not on the list that I'm looking at. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's the Tide Pod Challenge. I don't know who in the hell came up with this stupid challenge where you grab a Tide Pod and try to eat it. It's really dangerous to eat a freaking Tide Pod. How the hell would any teenager 
and keep in mind, full-fledged teenagers with growing brains, at least in middle school, learning how the li how life works. And already this trend comes up. Ooh, the Tide Pod Challenge. Ooh, I think I should do that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Why in the hell would people like teenagers like that do the Tide Pod Challenge? Do you want to die? Do you want to end up killing yourself? Uh, I don't know. If, I mean, it's okay to do some challenges, but dangerous ones like the Tide Pod Challenge, I mean, that one is the most stupidest one I've ever seen in my whole life. I don't understand how anyone with the half a brain would end up taking that stupid ass challenge. Oh, look at me. I did the water bottle flip challenge. Oh, look at me. I did the Tide Pod challenge. <laughs> like, like, what the hell? I, I, I don't understand. I just... <sighs> some, some of these challenges, man. They can make teenagers do a bunch of crazy things just to get views. Now, me? Well... The only reason I want to get views is so I can get people to sub to my channel, but that's completely different. This is completely different. Doing something really stupid to get views, hell, at least I'm putting a good effort on my videos and not doing anything stupid. These stupid challenges, posting them on social media and just injuring myself, causing a lot of damage inside my organs and stuff like, like the hell, it's, it's just stupid it's so so stupid I don't get how some of these people are doing these anyway I might as well in this video here like comment share subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you guys in the next video peace